everyone, Paul Akers. I'm in my home shop. We've got a total mess here. I'm remodeling the shop, rebuilding it, making it much more efficient. And one of the things I'm doing is putting in vertical storage for my lumber. Fastcap has developed a great new product called the Speed Divider. Check this out. It allows you to create vertical storage and have it flexible so you can change it anytime you want as your lumber increases or decreases or whatever product you're using. So we're gonna do an entire wall. Come on over here and check this out. This is John and I's project today. We got our laser all set up here, and this whole wall is gonna be set up with the speed divider so we can move them anywhere we want and store any product we want from sheet goods to lumber to pipe. You don't, we don't even know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna experiment and you're gonna watch the whole thing. We're gonna do a time lapse and then we'll interrupt from time to time and kind of show you how we're progressing. So let's get started. So what we're doing now is putting up our cleat material, one by four, you can use two by four, you can cut it any size you want. But before you actually do that, you have to cut a dado half inch by half inch. So we set our saw blade up to a half inch high. We put our fence over to a half inch, and then we pass our wood over the top, creating a dado or a slot for the speed divider to move in. It's very fast, very easy to do. And then we continue to put up everything. We start to put up our wood vertically. So there you go, 30 minutes into the project, we have our cleats about a foot apart. We've never used this product before. Nobody's ever used this product. It's brand new, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing around here. And now we've got a long lever here. We've got fixing screws in here so these can't move side to side. And then we can actually use them to hang things on, like garden tools, ladders, or store our vertical storage. So we're going to continue to organize things. Again, the beautiful thing about the system, totally flexible. You change your mind, just move them in a second. There's nothing hard about it. I think you're going to love it. Let's keep going. Few details, we put everything in with power head screws, which really work nice in the pine. And then all these just slide anywhere you want, just like that, so you can adjust them in a second. There are two fixing screws right here. Come on over here and we'll show you the fixing screws that we put in here. So you don't have to put in both of them, we just put in one right there on the side that you can get to easily, and you're set. So we'll keep going and let's see what happens. So as we continued along, we realized that for shorter pieces of wood, we might want the spacing only about a foot apart. So we added some extra cleats towards the bottom so the smaller stuff could have additional speed dividers. Now this is at fast cap. This is the vertical shelving that we built there. And it's very clunky and it's not flexible as our needs change, even for our pipes. So we're gonna change all that with a new speed divider. I really don't wanna show you this because it's not done, but I started using the new speed divider and I redid this whole area of my shop. So you see I have plywood, I have formica, I have plexiglass, I have steel, aluminum, uh, little pieces of plywood, sheet metal, starboard, uh, kaizen foam, melamine oak, Honduras mahogany, VG fir, and then uh, just two by fours and some beams, cedar, carpet, track material, and round stock. Took the fast cap pad, and stuck it on there and it works awesome. So if you have to get it out, you just pull it off and put it back on. I'm so happy with this, I can't even tell you. It was so fast and easy to do it and everything's adjustable. Okay, next project, all my garden tools outside. So I built this really nice rack out of two by sixes and it's really nice and very heavy duty, but you know what, it's a pain in the butt. I had to lay it all out. I didn't know for sure what it was gonna work. And then after I used it over time, I found out I really didn't like the layout and I couldn't really move it. So I took the whole thing down, disassembled the whole thing, ripped the kerf in the top of the two by six in the back, and then guess what? Used the speed dividers and it worked awesome. So John ripped the kerf in there and then started to put all the shovels and rakes back up. But the beautiful thing is, as he was doing it, he said, oh, well, I really don't like that there. Well, you just slide them down, move them, adjust them anywhere you want. So you maximize your stores and big clunky things like this brush that goes on my still uh, attachment, no problem. Everything can be hung there, whether it be a pair of shears that are a funky angle, a dead blow, a mallet, a hula hoe, a rake, a broom. Everything goes on there. You can cut them off short for dust pans like we did there. They're just a really flexible product. You're gonna love the new speed divider. So more and more people are using the speed divider. This is Ryan Wickham's garage. He had everything horizontally right here, but it pans over. Now everything's stored vertically, including the plywood with the new speed divider. Easy to access everything. So simple, so incredible. All right, here's where my lumber rack used to be. All the horizontal storage, and I have since converted over to vertical storage using these speed dividers. And I tell you what, I am a vertical storage believer now. I've taken all this 
Um, all this wall space and converted it down into this small space here to include my small cutoffs as you can see in that little cabinet I've built. These speed dividers by FastCap are awesome. You can see here I've also used a, a small chain setup to secure all my lumber. That way it's not going to fall. I've done it at the bottom and then up towards the middle. I've got plywood, I've got hardwood, I've got you know all my stuff I've just milled down. I've even got some metal stuff for metal working in there. And then again, all my small cutoff pieces got some plywood, some small pieces there, some small panels, and then my shorter pieces up on top of there. And I've even taken the speed divider and used it over here for these odd shaped, uh, you know, for my lights and for the roller for the table saw and miter saw. Now this is Brian Kliss. He's actually the inventor of the speed divider. He's a commercial carpenter. All he's doing here is putting the kerf in the back of the 2x4 and the 1x4, getting ready, making sure everything fits perfectly. And he's going to show you a project now that he's about ready to do. So he has all this horizontal storage. Everything's buried, difficult to get to. He's going to take the whole thing down in a quick time-lapse video, and then he's going to reinstall the whole thing back up with the speed divider. And it is really an epic transformation because everybody knows the hassle of dealing with material that's stored like this. Very, very difficult. He takes everything down, cleans it all up, puts the two cleats up, two by four, one one by four, puts them up, and there he has it. Everything stored vertically. He takes all of his old stuff, puts it up there, doesn't even sort it through it, just kind of throws it back up there so now he can access it and 3S it, go through it and clean it all up, including the shelves that were holding up all the crap before. He got it all up there, nice, neat, organized. Now he can access his stuff without digging and sweating it every time Find he turns the stuff around. That I do, much cleaner, much leaner. One advantage of storing lumber vertically is that you can access just the right board when you need it. Okay, the latest speed divider. Check out this system. Is this beautiful? So you have all your pipes, everything organized, separated perfectly, stakes, copper, EMT, ABS, PVC, everything totally flexible and expandable. Because what we did is we just ran the cleat right here. This is in a pole building all the way down. So as we want to expand, we can just expand everywhere. Okay, we expanded. So now we have all of our lumber as well as the piping. We have all of our two by fours, two by sixes, beams, live edge material, cedar for construction, and then all of our piping organized perfectly. The ultimate system, the speed divider from FastCap. You want to get organized, you want to move to the next level, you want to simplify your life, this is the way to do it.